This is a green curry of beef, <clears throat> and it's using beef ribs. It takes quite a while to cook, but that's because the beef itself needs to cook out. Again, we're heating up green curry, the green curry paste with coconut cream. But because it's beef, I want to add a little bit of dried spice to it. So if you've got some nutmeg, ground nutmeg, a little bit of coriander seed, and a little bit of cumin seed, it adds a pleasant further dimension to the paste. I'm using some beef rib. I like a lot of fat on there. It needs it for, the, I like it for this curry, but it's entirely up to you. You could use flank if you wanted to, or you could use this rib as I am. Let this come to the boil. Then you add your beef and start to let it cook. What is important with this curry though is you add some kaffir lime leaves as the beef begins to cook. And some chilies. Quite a lot of chilies. Quite a lot of chilies. Meanwhile, we'll get some. I've made some roti, which we'll eat with this curry. Keep an eye on it as you cook it. Keep an eye on it because you do not want the meat to catch or the curry to catch. You need to keep on simmering it and you'll need to, you may need to add a little bit more stock or water to the, the curry as it begins to dry. If it begins to dry rather. As you can see, the curry begins to split as the meat begins to cook. And when the meat is tender and soft and the curry is split, and it needs to be as almost as oily as this. Then we'll add a little bit of stock and start to finish the curry off. After about 20-30 minutes, when the meat is nice and tender and there's a good separation, just check the curry and see what it needs. Some fish sauce. You put a lot of chilies in there. But did you notice I didn't smash the chilies, I didn't break the chilies up, because what I want to do is perfume this curry, make it look seriously impressive, but I don't want it too searingly hot. Nor do you, I suspect. What we need to add now is a little bit of coconut cream just to enrich it. And just a few chilies, a few more chilies. This time I'm breaking them in order just to introduce a little bit of heat. This is a, quite a spicy curry, but it's surprisingly agreeable. Not surprisingly agreeable at all, it's delicious. and we're ready to serve. And this particularly spicy green curry of beef is served with roti, a little bit of cucumber to refresh, and also uh, some Thai basil. You could make it simply for yourself and have uh, steamed rice, but whatever you do, if not for your sake, then mine, add an extra chili or two.